A lot of problems that money can never solve. No matter how much money you give to your children, no matter how much education you give to your children, there are problems, problems they'll face that will never be solved. Teach your children to be respectful to older people, beginning with respectful to parents. I have seen in the United States and Western countries a growing disrespectful attitude among young people towards older people, even among so-called believers' children. It's sad. It's, you know, I come from a country where 80% are Hindus, and in the villages, they are taught to respect their parents whenever they go away from their parents. I mean, they go to an extreme. They touch their father's feet and then leave. But they are taught to respect their parents, non-Christians. But here I find so many people who claim to be believers, and their parents have never taught their children to speak respectfully to older people. They talk to older people as if they are their equals. I'd be thoroughly ashamed if my son ever spoke to an older a little boy, ever spoke to an older person as if he was his equal. So the things like this, you know, got to be, we got to teach our children respectfulness and to teach them to believe that God can solve every single problem of theirs. And I believe God is on our side in this matter. God wants to bring up a generation and another generation that will live for him and be witnesses for him. And so that's why we must train our children to be witnesses for Christ. Encourage them as they get opportunity to witness to others. Maybe it's far easier for a little child to tell someone about Jesus in his class than when they grow older. But tell them, we have to warn them about staying clear of certain types of friendships. You've got to watch their friendships very closely. I remember my wife used to Check, I was very often traveling. My wife really brought up my children. And, uh, but whenever my children came home from school, she would always be there. There was never a day when our children came back from school when my wife was not there. She never left home even once. Never traveled with me till our last son went to college. Children were very important for her. She gave up her profession as a doctor to be with her children. And I believe that's the reason why God's blessed our children and they've grown up to love the Lord and marry God-fearing wives. Because there was this influence of their mother who was always finding out what happened in school today. Sometimes they may have learned some bad words in school. To converse with your children and find out what happened. There are a lot of bad habits they pick up in school. Did, did somebody show you any pictures in school today? Some of your friends, did they show you some books? You know, there's pornographic books being shown to seven, eight-year-old children nowadays. You've got to be very careful. Your children may be very innocent, and they are all the more prone to be deceived by these others. We have a tremendous responsibility to protect them, preserve them, be very careful, teach them at a very young age to not let people who are not known, you know, people of the opposite sex touch them or try and be too friendly with them. We have to be very, very careful and that the responsibility is primarily the mothers because she's the one who sees them most of the time at home. So dear parents, please take this responsibility carefully and here's the good news. God is on your side to help you.